Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time has been a window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspects got four kills and six deaths. Seems to be losing this game seven to one at this time, and statistically, it just does not look like he's cheating. But maybe he's gone AFK to download some cheats, and he'll be right back. All right, so now that he's gotten some soup, looks like he's bee hopping his way over here towards. Okay, he is straight up walling, bunny hop script. One guy pushing outside. He knows he's there, going for the flick shots. Not quite able to connect. I mean, even though he is cheating, he seems to be incredibly bad with these cheats. So I do think he just went and downloaded them. Peeking out, able to take down Puffin. Right now he finds himself in a 1v4. Gonna try to take down Dalmatian with the Glock. He didn't quite take him down. It looks like he's in a terrible situation. And wow, the suspect here is terrible. Gonna be making his way over here towards Marshmallow. Missed the jump. And he's gonna go for a, another jump here. Gets up on top of it. Can't seem to get up on top of the marshmallow though. Gonna try it one more time. Let's see. Third time is the oh, not the charm. All right, he's given up on trying to get on top of marshmallow. Gonna make his way outside. One guy over here by mini. He's trying to tap him through the wall here. Just following him right on target. Gonna spray him down for a little bit. You can see that aim lock trying to correct for that recoil and the shakiness that's happening when he does that. Either way, adjusting some settings here because he is struggling still, even though he is full on blatantly cheating. Gonna make his way up here into upper, trying to tap early and misses him. Does take down Puffin though. Gonna get flanked from outside here. Alpha's holding the angle, gonna drop down behind. And it looks like the suspect's gonna try to peek out and take him down. And he does. He takes down Alpha from behind. The suspect, who has been having a really difficult time trying to use an AK with these cheats, has decided to go with an AWP. And he's making his way up here towards the roof. Let's see if he's even able to stop and shoot at someone. And try to spam him through the wall here. And no, does not seem to be connecting with Dalmatian. Eve is gonna take down Lily. It's just Dalmatian left in upper. In a 1v4 situation, oh, yeah. difficult situation. The suspect here trying to jump up on top of Marshmallow finally gets it after a ton of failed attempts and does tag Dalmatian through the wall. Dalmatian down to 39 HP. Really difficult situation for him. He's going to try to run away. I guess he's going to try to save his AWP here. Suspect here is going to be hunting him down. B hopping in here, going for the knife kill, and it looks like he's going to get taken down by Dalmatian. This time, the suspect's going to be making his way over here towards ramp. Aiming on Alpha through the wall, gonna go for the peak, not quite able to connect, still too thick of a wall right there to shoot through. Peeking out, able to take down Alpha, gonna go for the re-peak here on Puffin, misses, misses again. Wow. This guy is really struggling considering how blatantly he's cheating. Gonna go for the knife kill though, does take down, uh, does take down Puffin with the B-hops. Now he's gonna get flanked from ramp here. Tries to go for the shot, misses once again, yeah. As I figured, he's even worse with the AWP than he was with the AK. Gonna be making his way up here towards heaven. Nade comes in. Know approximately where he's at because he has been spotted. Gonna go for the peak here. See if he can see Alpha. Alpha's pushed into the hut. One guy directly below him. He's able to take down Lily as he comes up the ladder there. Only to get taken down by himself as he falls down. Alright. Back outside. And up against his nemesis, Marshmallow. Trying to jump up on it. Not quite able to jump up on it. Either way, one guy pushing outside here, holding with a scout. Looks like Lily's gonna start falling back, but he should be able to get Dalmatian from behind. He does. All right, one more guy to left here, and he's not gonna be able to quite react to that, even though he's wall hacking. Gonna adjust some more settings and make his way back outside here. Gonna try to do this jump once again. I mean, if he's struggling with this jump now that he's full on cheating and probably has some kind of jump scripts going on, then he probably could never do it before he was using that. I can't believe he's struggling with this jump so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Two guys pushing over here from ramp. He's gonna take some shots through the wall. Not quite able to connect. And he's gonna reposition here and see if he can try to shoot him as he comes out. Able to take down Alpha. One guy over here in squeaky room. And he's able to take down Puff and he is locking on much better now. Two guys on the other side of that door. Gonna try to tap Dalmatian but does not lock on through the door. And he doesn't really do any damage. Able to take down Dalmatian right there as he opens up the door. And one guy is spamming him through the wall. Looks like Lily is cheating here. Suspect and him are staring each other down. His teammates flanking from up top here. Lily's watching both angles. 
Lilspix trying to figure out how to go about attacking this. I'm surprised he's not going around and trying to peek out from the hut side so that his teammate can come out and one of those two guys can get the trade kill. I'm gonna go for the peek here. He's on the other side of that hut. Bams Lily down to 44 HP, goes for the peek and does manage to take him down. Going towards upper, able to one-tap Dalmatian. Buffin has pushed ramp here, taking down his teammate. He's holding for that flank. Two guys pushing up flank here from ramp, able to take down Dalmatian. He has this thing just automatically firing whenever someone peeks out. And we make it his way outside here. Last guy's over there by hell, and he gets a nice headshot onto him. Suspect's making his way over here towards ramp. Gonna take a couple shots. He does connect with Puffin's face. Another guy pushing up on him. Not quite able to take him down, but he does have the bot to fall back onto. And because of that, he's able to pick up two easy kills. And of course, assist with one of them. Now, that's just going to leave Lily over there in T-Spawn AFK. He's like, you know what? People on the other team are cheating. People on my team are cheating. And I just don't want to be here. And he's going to get knifed AFK in spawn. All right, guys. Time for the Overwatch resolution. And yeah, we got the full-on trifecta here. As for Major Disruption Aim Assistance, I'm going to go with Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt. Vision Assistance is Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt. And Other External Assistance is Evident Beyond Reasonable Doubt. As for Griefing, we didn't really see him doing any griefing, so I'm going to go with Insufficient Evidence here. Anyways, guys, that's case number one. Let's move on to case number two. And here we are on case number two. As you can see, it is Wingman, and the suspect's got seven kills, 91 damage around, just headshot sheep with a scout. Gonna go for the peak here towards the double boxes in sight, and gets taken down. Looks like he is using a wall hack right off the bat, and of course, that aim lock with that scout. Gonna take a shot at sheep over here in pit. More guy coming around the double box, and he's gonna get taken down. All right, score is five to three. A couple hops as well. Able to take down sheep. Looked like a little bit of a backtrack as well as having the aim lock. But yeah, we did see the two hops. If he hops some more, I'm probably gonna give him the other external assistance as well. Looking over here towards that window, getting shot in the back by his teammate. I guess his teammate's like, stop cheating. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just messing around with him. Either way, pushing his way over here, Iguana is able to take down Husky, and the suspect is in halls, holding passively, watching him through the wall, trying to figure out where Iguana is going to go. Now, Iguana has a lot of information, it seems, and knows exactly where the suspect is. Watching behind him, creeping around, maybe he's not cheating, I'm not 100% sure, but he is going to be coming around this corner in a moment, and the suspect's holding and ready for it, able to one-tap Iguana in the face. Yeah, it looked like he didn't know he was exactly there, so I'm going to say that the other guy's probably not cheating, but the suspect just B-hopped across the floor there, and that's all three right there. Uh, wall hack, aim lock, and other external assistance with the B-hop script. Teammate blocking him right here, like, dude, stop cheating, you're ruining the game. And he shoots his teammate in the head. I'm not going to call that griefing because, let's be honest, that was accidental. What he is doing, though, is full-on cheating, which we have already established. This time, he's going to be making his way over here towards Halls. He's going to be peeking aggressive Halls. He does miss the shot, which is actually a little bit surprising. Able to get him on the re-peek, and Iguana's pushing up. Taking some shots with that Deagle. Tags him down. His teammate is griefing the hell out of him. And... Be holding that left hand angle, he gets flashed off of it. The smoke over here towards the right to make sure that Iguana can't reposition and peek him from the right. Instead, he's going to make his way over here through halls. Suspect's pushing up with the Deagle. Going to go for the aggressive peek. And Iguana starts to fall back. His teammate keeps shooting him. Iguana knows exactly where he is because of Husky really giving away the suspect's positioning. And honestly, in this case, I'm going to say there's nothing wrong with that. Suspect's gonna make his way over here towards middle, gets flashed by his teammate, still able to take down Iguana. Looks like Sheep's gonna go for the peak. Instant reactions on the Sheep and takes him down as well. And Husky does do damage to the suspect there and does take him down, but that is going to cause Husky to get kicked from the server, and now the suspect has two chances to win the round. Gonna make his way over here towards middle, and it looks like Iguana's gonna start falling back. Making his way over here towards window. Suspect's pushing aggressive here, holding the angle. On his hesitant on peeking out, he does get dinked on the peak, and of course the suspect goes for the re-peak, finally taking him down. Time for the Overwatch resolution, let's go through this. As for Major Disruption Aim Assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision Assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And Other External Assistance is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, he didn't technically grief his teammate, even though his teammate did get directly in front of him and he shot him, but his teammate was definitely griefing him. So I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here, and I can understand why his teammate was so frustrated with him, 
blatantly cheating and ruining the game like that. Anyways guys, let's move on to case number three. And here we are on case number three. As you can see, it once again seems to be Wingman and the suspect here. Oh, he's got an aim lock going on, a wall hack going on, and of course a B-hop script. It's gonna take down Ostrich uh, with that headshot. And yeah, as you guys can see, he is just blatantly cheating. Let's see if it's a full-on hacker versus hacker game, shall we? And then we'll go and report this, because obviously, we can already see that he is blatantly cheating. All right, right now, the score is 2-1. to one. I actually thought it was in warm-up. I didn't even realize that it was live until I re-looked up at the score, because of the way that he was so casually moving around. But I guess at this point, since he's cheating so blatantly, he's not really too worried about losing. Sonar is going to take down Flute, and he's going to take down Sonar. Sonar is going around with a scout. I think that Sonar might be cheating. Also kind of wondering if Ostrich is from the way that his awareness seems to be. Suspect here has no idea how to bunny hop. Going to make his way over here towards the upper site. Ostrich is on the other side of the box. Just going to start shooting him through the box. Yeah, it looks like Ostrich is wall hacking at least. And Sonar is going to come around that corner and shoot him in the face before he can even react because of that scout movement speed which is just absolutely ridiculous when, you know, they're locking onto you through the wall and able to peek out and shoot instantly like that. Looks like the suspect here has gone full on rage hack, staring at the ground now, pushing his way out here. He's gonna shoot this guy on ramp first, and now he's gonna try to take out the guy inside sight. Looks like Sonar is gonna bail on that, make his way back outside, and... The suspect is able to take down Sonar. He hugs that wall over on the right-hand side and forces Sonar to peek out on him. And even with that movement speed, I guess he had an angular advantage there. All right, guys. Uh, as we can see, we have plenty of evidence to report this, so let's go do that. And time for the Overwatch resolution. As for mage disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. I don't know if this game started off hacker versus hacker, but at the end of this game, it definitely was hacker versus hacker. Making our way down to minor disruption griefing. He didn't do any griefing, so I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Anyways, guys, that's today's three cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.